How's it going, lads? Marshall here. Welcome back to another review on the channel. Tonight we had an SBC Thomas Lamar, which you can see right there, that actually broke upon release. So it came out at 6, but it didn't come out at 6. It came out like maybe 40 minutes later, and um, the card looks insane. I was looking at the concepts before it was released, and I was hoping it wasn't going to be too pricey. And honestly, like I, I did see a lot of people at the time when the price actually came out. It was three SBCs, one's an 82. One's an 85, and one is an 87. I think that is the highest one. And I'm looking at that thinking, that's not that pricey for the quality of player that you're receiving from this SBC. And I I'll show you why during the review. It wasn't like one of those reviews that maybe some people look at and think, you know what? I like this card. Let's push it to everyone else so they do it as well. It's not one of those things. I'm literally just looking at the card from an outside perspective and thinking, for his stats, like literally as you see them on screen right there, they're not bad compared to people of a similar price. You know what I'm saying? Actually, really, really good compared with people of a similar price. My dog, right? I was sorting through some, like, letters today. She just pulled a letter out of the letters and she's going to start ripping it apart. When should I intervene? Hey... Uh, it's a needless letter anyways. But anyways, boys, four-star combo on Thomas Lamar, 5 foot 7 and high to medium. Uh, left foot primarily. Uh, he's got 91 pace and 90 sprint speed. He's very fast, very fast. Now, I believe with this card, right, you could utilize him anywhere. Secondary CDM, uh, outside center mid, which I would definitely recommend, by the way. If you're rocking like a 4-3-1-2 or 2-1, or a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Anything with those kind of CDMs, even like the 352, which we're rocking a day. If you want to use him as a secondary CDM in the 352, he's going to boss that position. Likewise, if you want to play him left midfield, he's going to boss that position. If you want to push him further afield, Cam, he's going to boss that position. This guy is very, very versatile, let me tell you that. Uh, shooting wise, it's there. I mean, he's, he's got 93 attacking position, 90 finishing, 91. I was going to say 81 there. Uh, shot power, 90 long shots. I use the hot chemistry style on him. I can see the boosts. Um, and if you're ever wondering, right, uh, which chems that I'm actually using on the card, I'll always say during this bit, you can see by the boost, but also in the gameplay with the miniature card, the chem style is on the card. So keep an eye out for that. Dribbling, passing, absolutely tremendous. And uh, obviously, the reason I reckon he would work deeper in the field as well is because of those defending stats, but most importantly, that aggression. It's very high at 87, and you'll be able to run all game long with 95 stamina. As for the player traits, he's got finesse shot. Now, if you're going to use him on a side of, like, the outside midfielders, naturally, you want to go towards left center mid, right? He's left-footed. That's going to be a natural thing. But if you use him as a right center mid... Cut inside and finesse. I'm just saying. Hey, anybody's voice. Let's get in to the gameplay. So here we go in to the gameplay. By the way, lads, if you are enjoying the channel, you're enjoying the video, or enjoying anything today, maybe you're enjoying the sunlight outside, but uh, leave a like on the video. Drop a comment as well. I want to hear your thoughts, as always, on the player I'm reviewing. So Thomas Lamar in this case, but also, if you've got a player and you want to know whether Lamar would be better suited to your team, hey, drop them in the comment section below. Not only me, will be able to help out, but hopefully everyone else can as well. Now, Thomas Lamar, that's his first involvement, three minutes into the first game. By the way, I didn't do this celebration. I didn't do the whole tea celebration. That is, um, it's default with Thomas Lamar. Yeah, very, very strange. So if you press A, I'm on PlayStation X, uh, when you're celebrating, it does like a default celebration for uh, the player that scores the goal. With Thomas Lamar, he drinks tea. I don't know if he enjoys tea, I've got no idea, but he does uh, the Alex Morgan celebration. Yeah, it was Alex Morgan that did it, right? But anyways, you can see what he's like, right? You use him a bit deeper in the field, he's going to run the length of the field, and he's never going to stop. He's very good with his ball control, with his dribbling, and with his direct approach to the game. Look, I received the ball a little bit deeper in the field here, and I could have just ran and ran and ran, but then I played off and started doing the interplays between other players whilst letting Lamar run directly through the center of the pitch. And at the end of it, I cut it back to him with a double tap uh, on the pass, and he just hits it on the volley with his weaker foot, which is four star, and flies in the back of the net. The job's a good one. So you could use him as one of those midfielders that starts the attack and then ends the attack. What I mean by that is you give them the ball in midfield, you trigger the one to you, you play passes amongst the other players, get it to a striker, drop it back to a midfielder, through ball, straight to Thomas Lamar. He's going to be in there, he's going to have a chance, and more often than not with the, the quality of this player, he's going to score it as well. Look at that volley, look at deflected mid. I'm sailing in the net. Uh, like, what's the power? 
This is the power of notes. I've got no idea what that means. Just popped into my head. Get a chance here. By the way, did you see the control to set up the volley? Wow. Wow, that's why I tried the volley. I think I got carried away in the moment, lads. And I simply put too much power on it. Now, you can see the pros on the left-hand side of your screen. Let's see if this is another one at the keeper. Uh, Pace-wise, this is going to be one of the main selling points for his position. I think as a box-to-box -box midfielder, you need a, a good balance of everything, right? You need, I mean, if you're going to get into the area, perform some skills. Four-star skills does help. Uh, Four-star weak foot definitely does help as a box-to-box -box as well. And you need pace, right? You need pace to cover uh, the position that you're running into. So you want to get forwards, you want to get backwards. You need the pace, he's got that. You need some good shooting if you go into the box and get a chance. He's got that. You need some good passing if you're a little bit deeper in the field. You want to play a through ball out to the wingers or anyone for that matter. Or, alternatively, a bit further forwards. And you, By the way, how is that a penalty? I've got no words, man. Apparently, Petit fouled us. But I looked at, like, the... Like, obviously, I was editing this. And I still don't know how it was a penalty, to be honest. So, if you guys can let me know, uh, please tell me. But as I was saying, if you want someone to be intricate with, like, through balls... This guy can as a box-to-box. -box. You want him to be decent at dribbling box-to-box -box plays. Not immense. This guy is immense. He's got every dribbling stack going. Uh, Defending-wise, you want him to be competent if they're a secondary CDM. Or at least for a box-to-box. -box. He definitely is that. Um, 84 is his lowest rating in the defensive category for defensive awareness. The ones that matter anyways. And then, he's got stamina. He's got aggression. This is some player. Let's get in to the summary. So there we have it then, chaps and chap you sats. Did you know that's, that's uh, No, it's not. Chap you sat is a footballer. It's chaps and chapettes. Chaps are like, chaps like males. And I think chapettes are females. Did you guys know that? I googled it the other day because I wanted to see what the... Honestly, my Google history... Just, unreal, man. Like, I even... like how, how do fish breathe? Like, stuff like that, you know? You things that you wouldn't naturally search. I search for because I'm very inquisitive about things. But anyways, Thomas Lamar. He's coming in at a cool 180 on the Xbox and PlayStation. I'm using your knowledge and my knowledge here. Uh, because Footbin at the time of me doing all the graphic works didn't have a price right there because it's not even as an SPC on this system right now because like I did say, it did come out late after 6pm and uh, they mustn't have updated the systems yet. But um, yeah, I mean, it's an 87 squad with an 85 and then an 82. It's not going to be that expensive and I looked at different SPCs with the same requirements like an 85 rated team, an 87 and an 82 is like 5k. Well, it's, it's going to be about... Yeah, it's not going to be 5k. It's going to be about 9. 9,000 coins or something like that. So, uh, 180 is what I came to. And I've got to say, for that price, under 200k. Fantastic, fantastic. Obviously, there is different players you can utilize in that position. I can possibly give you a similar effect. Heard the, the name Canales going around. Obviously, he can be utilized there, Canales, in the center of the midfield. Uh, but I guarantee he's not going to be as competent as Thomas Lamar. This guy is a box-to-box. -box. He's absolutely brilliant. Uh, today, by the way, 35-2. I used him as a secondary CDM in some games and as a cam in other games to showcase his kind of versatility, his ability to play different roles. And you would have seen that in the gameplay as well. Uh, as for the games played, free, played three games tonight with Thomas Lamar. Nearly said that wrong. But uh, yeah, three games, four goals, and zero assist. But I've got to say, I wasn't really looking for the assist from time to time. You would have seen certain occasions where... I was in a certain position on the pitch, and I thought, you know what? Let's try a cross from here or a pass from here because I've got nowhere else to go. The thing is, I can get assists with him. That's not a problem. I just want to see what his shooting was like from certain angles, and that's naturally what I went for more often than not. Match ratings from those three games, 8.2, 7.9, 9.4. I'm going to sneeze, and I don't like sneezing. And I'm, I'm... We're there. Look at light. I'm looking at my light. What? That actually works! No, I need to sneeze again. Dude, what is this, man? Anyways, Soldier and Honor. Uh, <laughs> it's there. It is right there, mate. I need to sneeze. Um, nine for passing, nine for dribbling, eight for shooting and physicality, which I believe goes to show how well-rounded he is. Look at the light again. Stop the sneeze. Similar cards. You've got midfielders here that can definitely play a little bit deeper, but also play in the attack. So I went for Modric, Pedri, and Nkunku, right? Modric is probably the most similar, too. Now, Modric is a great box-to-box. -box. You guys know this. You'll know that you'll deliver in that position with the four-star, four-star that Modric has as well. And um, I'd say for the, the likability, like, the similarness, 
similarities. The, the most similar play is Lamar to Modric. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Similarness. That's not a word, is it? I'm, I'm making up words and reviews now. Brilliant. But overall rating for myself with Mr. Thomas Lamar uh, will be a 9.5. I think he's a fantastic midfielder, great box-to-box, -box, and a great alternative for your La Liga or French teams. He offers a different type of box-to-box. -box. Normally, box-to-boxes have a, like a flaw, right? You look at some, like, oh, dude, he's defending. It's not the greatest in the world. Oh, mate, he's finishing. It does lack. Ah, he's got a three-star weak foot. Oh, he's got three-star skills. You know what? This guy can't pass. This guy can't dribble. This guy's too tall for this, that, and the other. This guy's got literally everything well-balanced everything well balanced so uh he does give you that added sense of giving you a, a, like a, a complete package like a, an all-round article of a player it's sensational uh value for coins for me at the price of 180 is I, I believe it is actually could have been updated by now one second lads i'm still trying to fight this sneeze by the way uh he's actually 190 so i was very close 10k off but it could drop the 180, who knows? Uh, but even for the 190 price, he's, he's getting a 9.0 from myself. I reckon it's phenomenal um, value. Obviously, you look at different Team of the Season cards. But again, that's supply and demand, right? You, you look at Team of the Seasons, they are vastly available everywhere. You look at, like, who can I say, for example? Premier League Declan Rice, one of the better CDMs on the game in general. There's like 50 million pages of him and he's probably like 50k now. But I mean, that's what I'm talking about. These SPCs, they're never going to see the light of day on the market. So that's probably why they're so priced. And this guy is a very good SPC. The enjoyment rating as well, uh, for myself with Thomas Lamar, will be a 9.2. He provides some difference. And I rate that. I rate that very highly. And that's... Hope you guys rated this video very highly. If you did, leave a like on the video. Uh, enjoy your night, wherever you are, may be in the world. It might be morning. Enjoy your morning. It might be afternoon. Enjoy your afternoon. You might be sleeping. Continue to enjoy your sleep. Hopefully, the notification that you set on this video does not wake you up. And if you don't have it, set them anyways. But guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your night. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.